Hello guys, who here, back with another video, this time around Gainyu Fu, the Spring Fling 2022, and I had a suspicion that it was going to be today, because last year we gone on the 4th of May, May the 4th be with you, right? But, uh, of course, Tuesday falls on, well, closer to on the 3rd, so we got it today, uh, but when I come home earlier today, uh, there was no event and there was no Bomberell update either, but there both things are in at the moment. Uh, let me just uh, show you a little bit here. Uh, oh, let's well click this one just to show you guys that uh, that it is updated. We got the blast coins, as you can see up there, and also the burnt uh, coins as well. Just wanted to mention that as well. Also, I want to mention that this event is very much like last year's event, even though it's a little bit changed with the enemies you have to defeat. So last year you had to get some uh, what are called special drops or some extra drops you got. You got them from the medieval highlands. Those are back. So for 2021, those are back. So if you want those drops, you didn't get them last year, uh, go to medieval highlands. If you want the new drops, uh, I, I don't of course have the new drops. It'll also do one of the, uh, you know, I'll talk about it when we get to some of the quest steps because it is part of the quest to go defeat them as well. But I just wanted to mention here in the beginning that we are gonna get, you know, it is about getting the new drops if you haven't gotten the old ones. So the new ones are in the permafrost biome. So old drops, if you haven't got them, uh, medieval highlands, uh, for perma for the for the new drops, it's gonna be the perma frost biomes. I just wanted to make that show. It's the same enemies, but they're just in two different. They might look different, but it is the same enemies. Uh, but they drop two different things. Some of them are tradable. Some of them are not tradable. So with all that said, let's jump into step number one. All right, so for step number one, all we have to do is talk to the duck it by the large wagon. And this is, the, of course, the large wagon. So we just got to go ahead and find ourselves the duck. You might have also noticed that I didn't say anything about the 14 days of, you know, different things. It is not in at the moment. Uh, it might, you know, bring it up. I might tweet at them or something like that to see if they're going to implement or they just maybe forgot to turn it on for the 14 days rewards that we you know we got and stuff like that. And we've happened this before. We got it a couple of days after and then we just so still got the 14 days of rewards, but it just surpassed the event. And that is very cool. But I'll sure if, I think they just forgot about it. I don't know if they are trying to get away from it because it's just sort of stale. It's something that we're just used to. So I don't know. But I still don't like it that you get those double XP potions for anybody that needs them out there. But like I said, for step number one, all we have to do is find the duck. And it is here, Sir Dapper Duckton. Uh, I would love to have to be named the third because, uh, well, maybe he is the first of his kind. But all we have to do is go ahead and uh, talk to him. And that's going to complete your step number one. Not really much other than that. So yeah, go ahead and just talk to Dapper there. Step the third, and you're gonna complete step number one. But yeah, step number one, on to step number two. All right, so for step number two, all you have to do is buy some of the stuff from Duckton. So as we talked about before, if you just complete step number one, all you have to do is buy one of these. It's gonna cost you 75 flux, and yes, the color matters because blue is superior. Now, it doesn't matter what color you get, but I'm going to get blue because blue is my favorite color. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it. And if you can see that it's not going to complete the step, what you have to do is go ahead and throw it just like confetti balls uh, or anything like that. Just have it in your inventory. If it's not in your inventory, just make sure it's down there and just hit it. And you're going to go ahead and throw down. Uh, 10 of these and as you can see they're not very expensive so you can go ahead and buy some more if you want to feel so and we got nine out of nine and there we go the last one thrown as well that's going to give you 10 crystalline cores as well and that was step number two on to step number three all right guys for step number three we are starting in the hub because we have to defeat the wasp spiders or wasp spiders i think that's how you say it. you gotta defeat 10 of them but we do have to pick up something in the hub that we already uh, got already. So, uh, but I'm going to go either into the medieval highlands or the permafrost. I'm probably going to choose permafrost because there's the new drops and I want the new drops because I already have 
the other ones. But we do have to pick up something here in the hub over at Duckington again. It's more of the flingers because uh, these are going to be used. You're going to throw them at the enemies. The enemies has a shield on that they take no damage. But if you hit them with the flingers, there's going to be a spawn, a little bee, and they're going to lose their shield and you can then damage them. So if you just run up and try to damage them, it's not going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a few of these because they're not very expensive and I'm probably going to need a bunch of them to get all the uh, enemies anyway. So I'm going to head into a permafrost biome and you guys can see it in action before we head into step number four. All right, guys, we are now in a permafrost biome. And as you can see in the background, we have one of these warps, wasp spider enemies that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and attack it. As you can see, I am not. Uh, well, I am actually doing one damage to them, but they are going to take a very long time to kill. They're actually, the bar is not going down at all. So what you want to do is you want to use these uh, fl uh, the flinger, the flinger, and you can see there's a, sp a spider that spawned and also their shield is gone. So now you can just go ahead and defeat it. And as you can see, this also is uh, kind of cool in itself. So what you want to do is just do 10 of these. So just wanted to make sure you do that. And you can just run around in, you know, all the permafrost biomes that you want to get this one done. But yeah, this is how you're going to complete step number three. We can now head into step number four. All right, guys, for step number four, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All you have to do is beat one star dungeon, 15 of the one star dungeon. You could do it anywhere you want to. I'm currently in U9. I'm just going to go ahead and, and do my different things and then uh, I'm going to get, you know, my stuff done. Uh, I just want to mention that there's also one star dungeons, sort of one star dungeons in the three star dungeons or five star dungeon, all that stuff. But those usually do not count towards that. So it should be a, just regular one star dungeons. You can try to do these anyways. Uh, I would just suggest you just normally farm whatever you usually are doing and get your 15 dungeons in that way. But uh, I just wanted to mention that if you expected there was going to be two in this one and you can just hit two out of the park right at the moment. Uh, I will try to do so, see if it works, but uh, yeah, 15 dungeons, one star dungeons, they're all over the place, you know, so just uh, go ahead and do uh, 15. So that's basically step number four, 15 dungeons. The, the three loops are actually pretty nice to get. Actually, that's a pretty nice quest reward, actually. I uh, would love to see five, but three is pretty cool as well. But anyways, that was step number four. Let's head into step number five. All right, guys, so for step number five, we have to collect 10 glacial shards. And usually you can buy these off the marketplace and collect it. I'm just going to go ahead if I can spell it glacial shards. Uh, of course, not have it hidden as collected. Uh, there's a bunch of it. I don't want to buy that many. I'm just going to go ahead and buy myself a thousand. See if that worked. It did not. So you actually do have to go out and collect it. So you go to a permafrost biome. And you find these spots, it just looks like this, just sort of like a little bit of a snow uh, uh, above it. Uh, and it just look a little bit darker than the other ones as well. You do get extra because it's Tuesday. If you're doing this on a Tuesday, a gathering day, you do get a little bit extra. So I might have to get enough. I did get enough because of that. So you might not get uh, the same all amount if you're doing it like Wednesday or some other day, but yeah, that is what you are going to do for step number five. Just collect yourself some glacier shard. And as you can see, you couldn't get it off the marketplace, but it's only 10. So you can see how fast you actually can get it going. But uh, that was step number five. We can now head into step number six. All right. So for step number six, we have to get a whack. As it says, whack some more wasps, spiders, but this time you cannot choose if you want to do medieval highlands or permafrost. It has to be in the permafrost biome. So if you didn't get enough of these, uh, you know, the, the flingers, you should go ahead back to the hub, get just buy yourself some more and at least 20. So that's about 150 uh, flux to get yourself 20 so you can do it on the different enemies. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it down here. And uh, it's actually the uh, B that you get the B that is there uh, that is actually going to hit the enemy. And that is what is going to remove uh, the shield. So as you can see now, 
we got ourselves to and it's also attacking this little guy poor guy <laughs> my little b army but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get myself a 20 of these uh, in the permafrost biome like we just did before uh, again you can go here there is most permafrost but of course you can go in any of the other worlds there should also be some permafrost but since you don't really get a lot of experience or anything like that it is just easiest to go to the easiest world as well but yeah i'm gonna go again and get 18 more i guess not the 20 as i said and hopefully maybe i'll get the banner i already got the ally so maybe i'll get the banner as well and then maybe some other stuff but at least i can trade the other two things you can get from them so i can buy them off the marketplace at some time during the event but yeah that was step number six i'll see you guys in step number seven all right, so for step number seven, we have to mount our new mount that we got in step number six. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into here. I'm gonna go to recently acquired, if you wanna get that one. Uh, it's just gonna just show up here. Or you can use, you know, search for snowman and you'll get this mount as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this one. Now I just have to mount it. And there we go. So boom, there we go. Go. So it's also based on last year's style, but now it's just a snowman. Uh, you can't move around on it. It's pretty, pretty funny. Um, but it's pretty, actually, pretty cool to mount it up <laughs> like this as well. But that's what we have to do. Just mount up on the mount, and you're done with step number seven. So not very really much more than that. I also wanted to show you guys that um, these. You, I can see I got some of these for doing all. Yeah, I haven't got the banner yet. I'll get that one as well. There's two other things. There was a tradable as well. There's also a hat style uh, you get there in as well, but it's only like a couple of mastery points. So that's not really crazy. Uh, but I got four of these. As, as you can see, the do not loot collect into anything, unfortunately. Maybe you can actually, you know, maybe you can garden harvest them. Actually, uh, we have a should have something over here. We should have, I think the gardening thing is, should be over here. I'm pretty sure it was there. Uh, is it up top? Um, no, I can't. I can't find it at the moment. But it should be a composter somewhere. Uh, but I know we have one in the club. So, uh, but the, I don't know if it goes into the composter and you can get them, uh, loot collect them into something there. But at least you can't loot collect them anything as uh, you know the regular loot clerk i wish i did get just at least go like be turned into flux or something you know because right now i've already learned this one so i just have these four in my inventory that's not going to do and i'm probably going to get more this is just by the like 30 ish that i did um and i get i got five technically because i used one of them right so yeah they're not really super uncommon so yeah i just wanted to mention that this would be uh, right there but Side note to step number seven, uh, you guys want to know about step number eight, it's coming right here. All right, so for the last step, as uh, step number eight, we have to collect a rare treasure from the wasp spiders in the permafrost. Again, not in the medieval highlands, it has to be from the permafrost ones, and that's going to give you 2,500 2, flux, so, uh, but that's just one of the, uh, you know, if you get one of these again, uh, or some of the other uh, things that can drop from them, you will get this as well. So just, you know, keep going, keep doing these warps until something drops, and then you will complete step number eight. I also just checked this while I'm in the in our club world. Um, I just checked on the uh, harvesting station. Uh, as you can see, if I go right over here, or composting station, uh, you can see there is nothing in here either that is going to make it so you are sure, you know, that it can be looted into something else like just this. So basically they're just right now uh, not usable, but I would hold on to them until the event is over, even though they might not do anything with it. You know, it's just rather to keep you know, hold of it if you have the inventory space that is uh, until the event is over. And if the, you know, nothing changes with the um, them looting into something else, you know, that was just it because there's also different bugs at the moment. We didn't get a star bar today. You can see, go ahead and see repeatable uh, star bar is not in here as well. And I can also go to my collection. You can see this is all the steps and I haven't gotten anything in between. You can see, uh, I think this one was the uh, 15 dungeons, for example, right? It should have put something in there, right? So these are the, from the earlier steps as well. So we didn't get a star bar today as well. So but I'm pretty sure somebody's already reported on that. Not that it's super important for me, but you know, some people do still rely on that. So 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my last step done as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying season three of Bomber Real as well. Get your coin, get your PvP on and get your event uh, uh, glasses on, I guess, or hat on, I guess, whatever you turn on for PvP, I guess. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.